Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an essential topic, conflict resolution strategies for healthier relationships. Whether you're dealing with conflicts in your romantic relationships, family dynamics, or friendships, understanding how to handle them effectively can make a huge difference in maintaining healthier connections. So, let's get started. First things first, let's define what conflict is. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship and arises when individuals have differing opinions, interests, or needs. It's crucial to remember that conflict, when handled constructively, can actually lead to growth and deeper understanding in a relationship. Before we delve into strategies, let's talk about why conflict resolution is so crucial. Unresolved conflicts can lead to resentment, misunderstandings, and a breakdown of trust. However, resolving conflicts in a healthy way can strengthen bonds, build trust, and enhance communication. One of the most fundamental conflict resolution strategies is active listening. It means fully concentrating on what the other person is saying without interrupting or formulating your response in your mind. Give them your undivided attention and show empathy by acknowledging their feelings. When discussing the conflict, it's essential to avoid blame and criticism. Instead, use I statements to express your feelings and perspective. For example, say, I felt hurt when this happened, rather than you always do this. During conflicts, emotions can run high, but it's vital to remain calm and respectful. Avoid raising your voice or resorting to name-calling. Keeping a level head will promote a more productive conversation. Search for areas of agreement or common ground with the other person. Identifying shared interests or values can help you move toward a resolution. Sometimes finding a middle ground through compromise is necessary. It may involve each person giving up something, but it fosters a sense of cooperation and fairness. If emotions escalate and the conversation becomes unproductive, it's okay to take a break. Stepping away for a little while can provide both parties with time to cool off and collect their thoughts. Strive to understand the other person's perspective and their underlying needs or concerns. Empathy and genuine curiosity can create a more compassionate environment for resolving conflicts. Bringing up past grievances during a current conflict can make matters worse. Focus on the present issue and work toward finding a solution for that particular situation. Humor can sometimes diffuse tension, but use it wisely and cautiously. Sarcasm or humor that belittles the other person should be avoided. Approach conflict resolution as a collaborative effort. Work together to brainstorm and implement solutions that address the needs and concerns of both parties. View conflicts as opportunities for growth and learning. Understand that disagreements happen, and it's how we handle them that determines the health of our relationships. When you're wrong or have hurt the other person, apologize sincerely. On the other side, be open to forgiving when someone else apologizes to you. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting, but letting go of the resentment. Establishing boundaries is vital in any relationship. Communicate your boundaries clearly and respect each other's limits. In some cases, involving a neutral third party can be helpful, especially if the conflict seems unsolvable on your own. Mediators can provide a fresh perspective and guide the conversation in a constructive direction. So, there you have it 14 conflict resolution strategies for healthier relationships. Remember, conflict is normal, but handling it maturely and with respect can lead to stronger and more meaningful connections. Practice these strategies and you'll find yourself navigating conflicts in a way that promotes understanding and harmony. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more content on personal growth and relationship advice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.